Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in December 19, 2016, CSIR net. The question is, the major product formed in the following reaction is. Okay, so we have aldehyde compound and an L-proline, acetone and DMSO and second, uh, tetramethyl ammonium borohydride complex, acetic acid and methyl cyanide at minus 40 degrees centigrade. We have the four options and which will be the right option uh, for this problem. Okay, so we should solve this problem right. Here the proline, the structure of L proline. This is L proline. Okay. This on reacting with acetone. The lone pair electrons from nitrogen reacts with carbonyl carbon. Then we will get okay so this H plus attacks on oxygen okay next step is this one and then further So by the removal of water you can get this one okay and we can write this structure like this Okay, and then further reacting with aldehyde which is given in our problem. So this is aldehyde group which is given in our problem. Okay, right, this the lone pair electrons comes on towards here and double bond attacks on carbonyl carbon okay this will takes place this mechanism takes place in a six membered child like transition state so I'm writing here right Six membered transition state. Okay. Right. The lone pair electrons tracks under the single bond and this double bond. 
attacks on carbonyl carbon and this carbon oxygen attracts proton and this proton connected with nitrogen so you can observe six member transition state here okay you can observe six membered transition state so this is reface attack okay so reface attack means so if you form if you have a plane through this molecule through carbon and oxygen and that should be in cutting so we are cutting this carbon and oxygen uh, bond okay and we have two sides this one and this one so if you consider this is below and this is above and here so this oxygen gets first priority and this one second and this one third so here so this is psi because anti-clockwise direction so psi but so and this opposite side is re so the double bond attacks from the below of this carbonyl carbon means from the side of this hydrogen not from the side of this bulky alkyl group so if, if uh, attacks in psi phase so that is unstable that's why this double bond attacking from the below of the plane that is from the re phase from the hydrogen side so less repulsions here so from the hydrogen side it is attacking hence this is re phase attack okay right from this we can write so here is the formation of new bond and then so here is the formation of new OH group okay and here is alkyl group okay and this OH group so if you observe here the in L proline this uh, carboxylic functional group is on top of the molecule and this hydrogen is attacking if you if this hydrogen is um, form a bond with the oxygen there should be this carbonyl group also on the top of this molecule then only these two attractions from oxygen and hydrogen stakes uh, is possible hence this carbonyl functional group should be top of the molecule okay because this uh, carboxy functional group of proline is on top of the molecule and then only if these two carbon and these two are in top of the molecule only the bonding will take place between oxygen and hydrogen hence after the formation of uh, the bond between oxygen and hydrogen and uh, after the formation of OH uh, alka, uh, OH group hydroxy group so this should be top of the molecule okay understand right then and here it's a getting of positive charge on the nitrogen and on further attack, attacking of water so attacking of water on to this and if you observe this water attacks from the below of the molecule because the bulky groups are in top of the uh, total plane of this molecule hence water attacks from the below of that one from that we can write
sorry here is a formation of negative charge and oxygen there will be no hydrogen only negative charge is there okay right and then further breaking of oxygen and hydrogen bond and formation of carbonyl group here and the removal of proline so here proline acting has catalyst just like chiral catalyst okay so by the loss of proline here okay, by the loss of proline so we'll get So this is the product we can obtain on on a lol reaction then further this is on reacting with tetramethyl ammonium borohydride complex okay so I'm writing here So this on further reacting with borohydride so the lone pair electrons on this hydroxy group attacks on borine boron okay and forms so I'm writing here instead of this I'm writing just ligands okay for our simplification and so if you observe so this bo boron hydride uh, is bonded with oxygen or hydroxy oxygen which is top of the molecule that means this boron boron hydride is top of the molecule hence this hydride attacks on carbonyl carbon on from the top so from the top from the top only okay that means this oxygen carbonyl oxygen goes down understand so because of this the hydride attacks from the above of the plane on to the carbonyl carbon hence the carbonyl carbon goes down to the plane of this molecule okay Hence, so from this we can write, we can get so this is the final compound we will get. Okay this means what so hydride from the top so that means the OH group goes down of the plane of this molecule hence this is the final product we can obtain in the given problem okay if you observe the options so first option is the right answer for the given problem okay so chiral allyl reactions are very difficult to do in the exam we should have more practice that only leads to leads you to get the perfect correct answer okay thank you and uh, in the
రిపబ్లిక్ డే సిక్స్టీ ఎయిత్ రిపబ్లిక్ డే విషెస్ టు ఆల్ మై ఫెలో ఇండియన్స్ జై హింద్